What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. It is 6pm, it is Tuesday and we're going to see what delights EA have or haven't given us today. Of course, you can't see things they haven't given us, but you know what I mean. Um, all right, let's have a look. So nothing in live. I like it. Uh, I very much doubt there'll be anything in seasonal because it ends uh, in a day and a half. And then milestones yesterday, of course, we got a really fun milestone yesterday, but uh, nothing today. Squad Foundations MLS. We've got new squad foundations. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. So let's have a look at these squad foundations. The overall reward is Morris. Three star, three star. Can play left mid, right mid and strike, which is quite nice. I mean, really tidy physicals. Really good pace, good shooting and dribbling, but four star, four, sorry, three star, three star. Not really it. Chip shot, Traveller is nice, rapid and quick step. It's, I mean, it's not awful. Not awful. Um, for a foundation card, it's not the worst. We've also got Burn, English player. They've actually given quite a lot of English foundation cards that will now all link to each other. Can play right back and left back. Mind you, he's only three star, three star. Uh, good pace, good dribbling. Good physicals, not the best defending, not the best play styles for a defender either. But you only need to get five assists with an MLS player. A premium gold pack, a 78 by two. Excuse me, I'm sorry for you. I'm oh, sorry. It's just content, man. And then Darlington Nag Bay. Also three star three EA, please, man. <laughs> please. <laughs> Medium high work rates. Nag Bay is pretty cool, to be fair. Good pace, real tidy passing, real tidy dribbling, really good physicals and good defending. He's got press proven and relentless as well, which is good with the uh, technical play style. This is a good card. It is a good card. It's just only three star, three star. Like, like They're all a bit disappointing. I can't lie. Three star, three star on all of them is a bit disappointing. However, they are there if you want them. Evolutions. Nothing today. Never mind. Um, <clears throat> into the store. Not that I really care too, too much about the store, but it's always fun to go and have a look, isn't it? Just the same as always. Uh, so obviously we are definitely going to get a player SBC for the MLS Foundations. Um, we have got... They still haven't fixed the card design on uh, Mudrik and Kulusevsky. Son and Liao. Jean-Louis Lecca. Uh, one star, three star. C cool, cool stats. Footwork and cross claimer play styles. One segment. It needs to be like an 83 rated squad at most. An 83 rated squad with two 84 rated players. About about 10, about 10k. It's not, it's not the worst. It's not the worst. It's not the worst. It's not the best either, my Jew. But it's not the worst. Um, damn, that's another like French league goalkeeper, but at least he's French this time. Um, and then we've got Luquinhas from the Red Bulls. Right, at least he's four star, four star. He can play right mid, left mid, centre forward, and right wing. Good pace, good dribbling, good stamina. Shooting and passing is not the best. Finesse shot, Travella, incisive pass, technical, and flair. He's got good play styles. I mean, he, he's not bad, to be fair. He's not bad. It's only one squad for him as well. 84 at most. An 83 with an inform. That's all right. That's all right. Again, that's like, what, 15k, 18k, something like that. That's not bad. Um, I, just, I just feel like, in general, the foundations... I get it that they're called foundations cards, but it's just not what I'm, what I'm about. All right, so the upgrades, 84 double upgrade... That's either back or it's still there and I just didn't recognize. An 83. Oh, it wasn't last time it an 84 rated squad. Now it's an 83 rated squad. But with an inform. I can't even lie. 
I still think that's terrible value. An 83 rated squad with an inform. Again, it's like 15 or 16k. And okay, it's a double 84 upgrade. Oh, look how much untradeable stuff I've got. Um, yeah, okay, it's a double 84 upgrade. But 84s, even now that they're spiked, they're only like 3k at most each. And so whilst on the one hand, you could easily get cards worth more. It's just not ideal. I don't, I don't, I don't mind this, actually. I don't, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I don't think it's like insane or anything. And it's repeatable twice per day. But I don't mind it. And that's it for the upgrades. For challenges, Centurion's Challenge 2. That was already there. That expires in 54 minutes. That was the one that came the day late, wasn't it? And icons, nothing there either. Um, I don't know. Uh, no. Oh, that might be a good player. Rolfo. Oh, I've, I've done all right out of that. These are brilliant. These are brilliant. You should all do them. They are very good. Very good. Um, and then we've got a preview pack, which obviously no one's going to care about. Um, let's have a look. On Footbin. Maybe I missed something. New players. I didn't miss anything. Here. SBCs. Yeah, the 84 double upgrade is new. It's, it's decent. It's decent. It's not bad. It's not awful. I'll tell you that. That which in EA's terms is decent. This guy's downvoted, understandably so. Um I don't understand how he's 14k and this is 20k when it's the exact same requirements, but never mind. Um Lucinius is downvoted as well. I, I, I get it. Like the, these players are just I don't want to say pointless because if you're building into an MLS team, then fair enough, right? But if you are building into an MLS team, you're probably better off of by doing some uh, evolutions on players rather than using these sort of players. Like so, some of them are good. Don't get me wrong. Like Wagner is a good card. Uh, Evander, I actually think is a good card. Like there's a few decent cards here. Nagbe's got good stats, man. And there's like a defensive midfielder with a shadow on. He's good. Doesn't have the best play styles, but great pace, very good dribbling, good defending. For an MLS card, this is superb. It's well-rounded. It's an objective as well, which I suppose is all right. Burn is terrible. Defending is terrible. You've got to put a shadow on him. Reasonable dribbling, reasonable passing, reasonable physical. Terrible play styles for a fullback. And then good defending. But again, it's just a bit of a bit of a card that I can't quite understand. Like, like, I'm not like here, here's the thing, guys, right? I'm not saying that these cards need to be like five star, five star, or even four star, four star. But just a four, like, you know, for burn, for example, I actually don't even mind three star, three star. Just give him some good play styles. Just give him like um, you know, anticipate and whip pass. All of a sudden, I'm looking at this card and I'm thinking, do you know what? Great pace, good defending and physicals, reasonable passing, decent dribbling, whip pass, which is going to be great for like going down the wing and then, you know, uh, anticipate, which would be great defensively. All of a sudden, it's like a card where I'm like, yeah, okay, this now makes sense. But with these terrible play styles for a defender and then quite bang average stats, I just don't quite get it. And it's the same with Jordan Morris. Like, Morris is actually a decent card. Um, they haven't got his stats in yet, somehow. There we go. Um, it's a decent card. And again, with an engine chem style, great pace, very good dribbling, good passing, very good physicals. Maybe even with a hunter for him, you've got great pace, very good shooting, and very good physicals. And it's the sort of thing, again, whereas I don't mind three-star, three-star. Obviously, we'd prefer a four-star weak foot and or a four-star skill moves, but I don't mind three-star, three-star if he had power header and aerial ability. Because now, all of a sudden, this six-foot-tall, 
very heavy, good physical striker becomes a bit of a different like player for you. He's somebody that you can actually use to whip passes into, to cross to. Like, but the, like you know, with 96 jumping and 87 heading accuracy for his height, it's very good. But because he has nothing to do with his in-game stats or height in terms of play styles, it just becomes a bit of a mediocre card that, again, at three-star, three-star, you are better off taking almost any single... Like, you're better off going and getting Denny Buanga. And I, I don't know if the uh, things are still there. But you could have Evo Denny Buanga up to an 85 rated and play him at striker instead. And it's like, he's four-star, four-star and has very good play styles. And you pop a hunter on him. And it's like, why wouldn't you just have him instead? Like, it, like these foundations cards are kind of being delivered as if evolutions didn't exist. And I just think EA need to work on improving the nuances of cards to balance what we've already had with evolutions. We've then got Lukinias. Now, he is definitely the best one. A four-star, four-star. Very nice. He's been given 10 uh, ball control and 8 reactions. 10 stamina. It's nice. Um, he's, he's got some good play styles as well. Traveller and Finesse shot are brilliant. Technical is very good. Incisive pass, I genuinely believe, is a brilliant play style. Um, he's not the best in terms of, like, shooting and passing. His physical is nice. Low on, low on aggression, but good stamina. Really tidy dribbling and good pace. I think an engine chem style on him, and you've got some with great dribbling, very good pace and good passing. It's not bad. Um, so I don't, I don't, I don't mind. Like I feel like Lukinias is the one where it's like can't really complain. Like he's good. He's got good play styles. He's got good, uh, good nation links as well. Um, and so he's not awful. I think it's the other three where it's like, what's the point really? Like really. And then this goalkeeper. How many? How much reactions has he got? Seventy three. That's not awful to be fair. How tall is he? Five foot eleven. Never mind. Um, I mean, it's not a bad card, and I wonder if he's eligible. Yeah, he is. So he fits into the Evo path, but actually takes him up to an eighty-seven, which gives him one diving, two handling, two kicking, two reflexes, two speed, and one positioning. That's not bad. That is not bad. It would be very interesting to see if the goalkeeper reactions get upgraded during evolutions or not. I'm going to have to have a look at that. Because if they do, if he goes up to like an 80, sorry, 77 reactions, just a little bit better. Um, although, actually, did he have 73 reactions in this card? Okay, so apparently, according to Footbin, anyway, he does go up in reactions. So that's not bad. I think, yeah, his upgrade, you know, you complete this SBC for 14k, upgrade him to an 87. Happy days, right? You get yourself a, a, a half-decent goalkeeper. But when you pop the glove on him here, as an 87. Yeah, I mean, it would be a good card. I can't even lie. It's a fun one, especially if you're running a French team or a French league team or a Lance team. Lecker can be, uh, can be a bit of a fun one. But overall for today, guys, that is going to be that. Thank you, as always, for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.